Hi there, everybody. It is I, Random Robin, and I am back with the Dark Side Detective. So last time we did Malice in Wonderland and did the first case. So now we are going to do case number two, Tome Alone. <laughs> I like that. So if you don't, if you didn't watch the first episode and don't know what this is, basically it's a point-and-click style game where you solve puzzles by clicking on items and hope they do something for you. But um. So let's see what this this next case is. Tome alone. Case summary. Dooley suggested a visit to the library. He must have seen the strange storm gathering over it. Start investigation. All right, let's get to work. And I hope everyone's doing good today, staying healthy and safe. And here we go. Tome alone. All right. Ooh, that's a lot of purple. I was not expecting all that purple right there. Hey, it's Dooley. Alright, so we are Detective McQueen, uh, but I'm Detective Robin, and I'm on the case here. Alright, what's, what's the case, Dooley? Fill me in. Case? No. I have some overdue books to drop back. So that purple swirling vortex thing above the building has nothing to do with why we're here? Ah, uh, come on now, Detective. You're hardly going to arrest the weather. The things you'll try to do to justify this department. Let's get this over with. <laughs> plaque. This is a library. What a helpful plaque. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it works. Fines for being late? How are books late? It's not like they have places to be. You're not a charm. You're not charming your way out of this, Patrick. Rules are rules. Oh, so his name is Patrick Dooley. That's funny. Can we come to some kind of arrangement? Do you have any parking tickets you want to see go bye bye? <laughs> Dooley's trying to straight up bribe her in front of me. <laughs> Dooley, are you trying to bribe your way out of a fine? No. Here's an arrangement for you. I'll drop your fines if you arrest that troublesome kid. Kid. The one who's responsible for the storm. And you know, the ghosts. Ghosts? What? <laughs> should I... Should I be seeing a ghost? Is this your to-read pile? Oh, I've read all those. The desk is missing a leg, so I'm using them to balance out the computer. <laughs> a silent sign. Shh. Oh. oh. Alright, I'll obey the sign. Alright, let's see what we got. Photocopier. An old photocopier. I can't imagine this gets much use. Oh, it does. When you renew your card each year, Doris takes a photocopy of your butt for the records. Everyone's butt? Just mine, now that I think of it. <laughs> That's the price of working out, I guess. <laughs> Bin. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Your loaning rights are revoked due to bogues overdue. <laughs> I got this for Doris last time I had to get out of paying fees. I'm going to have to up the ante this time. <laughs> he cut, he taped her face to the calendar. That's great. Office supplies. Never know when I'll need to cut something in half or a lazy approximation of half. Oh, okay, scissors. Computer. The computer seems to be broken. It's not broken. It's hollow. So they can store more books in it. <laughs> That's great. Looks like some of these coats have been here for years. We should go through their pockets. You know, for evidence. Oh, I got a button. Okay. It, Dooley was on to something here. Um, What do you got, Dooley? I really enjoy the access to secret areas this job gets us. Staff only? Not on our watch. <laughs> Not facts. Cops get to get in wherever they want. Even the lamp is flickering. Okay. I think we've gotten everything we can out of this room, so let's go. I guess we'll take the elevator. An old elevator? Where is the staircase? We have none. There was a fire, and ironically, the fire escape was the only thing that was destroyed. <laughs> okay, uh, horror. Can I... I don't have the skills to wire up a normal button, but never mind this one. Okay, I'm guessing this is going to replace this. I'm just... That's just a thought. Okay, we're on reception. Sci-fi and fantasy children. Alright. Um, statue. Don't blink. Okay. Plant. What odd leaves the plant has? That? That's just the dead tree where the doors dries their stockings. Can I cut it? Come on, Frankie. You can do better than that. Uh, okay, I guess I'm Frankie. Oh, no, he's Frank. Oh, hello. Fantasy books. Glum Tales of Sadventure. Oh. 
Swords and Shield. If we lived in medieval times, we'd be living the adventure of Ye Darkside Bailiff and his squire Dooley. <laughs> I saw that. Is the chessboard the chessboard's moving on its own? Okay. What a great game, huh? Yeah, funny looking draughts pieces though. Sci-fi books. Fantastic Obit. Drowned in moonlight, strangled by her own bra. What kind of book? I wanted to be an astronaut when I was younger, until I found out that they had to go into space. Looks like some of the rocket's aluminum is coming off. That could be useful. Oh. Cool. Um, that's mildly convenient. <laughs> uh, let's see. I guess we'll go back to the hallway. I think I clicked on everything in here. Yeah, so that's how this game works. So you just kind of, like, click and see if something happens, you know? Um, I think that's... I think that's all I can do here, so I will go back in the elevator. Uh, reading room hobby. Painting. Professor Theodore Library, inventor of the library. Nope, not one word of that is true. <laughs> hobby DIY reading room. Uh, let's go to hobby DIY. Oh, mannequin. He looks like he's jumping. You'd jump too if somebody shoved a pole up your behind. He's <laughs> not wrong. Glue. Somebody seems to have left some glue here. Not a, not, it's no duct tape, but it could be useful. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm assuming I'm gonna build a, can I try this? No, okay. Wait a minute, these are printouts of children's art. Look at Mr. Moneybags and his deep pockets, rich enough that he can pay child artists for original works, this guy. <laughs> how to DIY, how to do DIY yourself. I'm really good at DIY. I get my sister to do it for me. <laughs> nice. Why are these fake? Well, you can't have kids painting over the books. <laughs> Turning duct tape into pants. Make your nether sustainable. That's hilarious. Uh, so I'm guessing all I got here was the glue. Alright. Let's go to reading room. Hey, there's a kid. Oh, hello, miss. I wasn't expecting anyone to be here. Raxa. Ooh. Oh, hello. My name's Raxa. I'm here to study the strange goings-on. I guess that's why you're here too, Detective? Uh, sure, that's me. Always investigating stuff on purpose. <laughs> Want to share what you found? Well, it's not much, but there seems to be a strange concentration of energy in the next room. I'm searching the internet for a way to be able to see whatever it actually is. Well, let me know if you find anything. Who doesn't need chalk in the 21st century? Most people? Fair point. Can I take the chalk? No. Roxas book. I hope there's nothing contraband in this pile. I wish. Uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, clock. Time always seems to stand still in boring places like libraries. Uh, depends on what you're doing in the library. What do you got to say, Dooley? You look uncomfortable, Dooley. It's this whole reading room thing. I mean, should we be reading right now? Can I not read anywhere else? Does the room itself read? And if so, what does it read? You have a special mind, Dooley. Chief Scully says that's why he, she assigned me to your department. <laughs> So go something, uh, detective? Uh, that's classified, because there is a whole bunch of eerie mumbo-jumbo going on here. So you notice, then. I'm majoring in the occult at TLU. You can do that? I thought all that stuff was banned. Somebody has the ca has to catalog and ban it all, detective. Right. It's all fairly hush-hush. So what does one study with occultism? Whatever you want. I went with computer science, so I wouldn't be studying two impractical subjects. Good call, Raxa. From experience, I can tell that you that the occult doesn't pay much. Damn. Okay. Um, microfilm room. Alright, here we go. Filing cabinet. Why would anyone have so many filings that they need a cabinet to store them in? <laughs> Box of microfilm. Hmm, it's radiating energy, like Raxa said. I think that may be a clue, possibly. There's just too much here to take. Even my pockets have their limits. Microfilm reader. It's broken. If I want to look at any microfilm, I'll need to find another way to do so. Can I glue it? Let's call that plan B. Okay, now, what if I... I have destroyed some historical material, but I did... Even cut up, it's too much to carry. Looks like I'll need to bring something here. Let's see what we can find online. Ah, 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 you didn't say the magic word. Looks like I need to figure out the password. Okay, so I need to come back here at some point. Okay, she's not saying anything new. Um, so I need to come back here at some point. Can I... There's gotta be something else I can do here. 
Uh, back to reception. Let me talk to her again. What were you saying about ghosts? This place is haunted, you know, the usual stuff. The usual? Flickering lights, floating books, strange noises, eerie purple storms. It's chasing off the readers. And you say a kid is to blame? He's the only one here often enough. Suspiciously often, if you ask me. I'll look into it. Do, or else I'll call a pair of oddball priests and or a questionable ghost-busting startup to come fix this. What's that you're reading? Guy Light. It's the heartbreaking tale of a girl who falls in love with a reverse vampire. <laughs> I like that. Of what now? A reverse vampire. He can only come out during the day. I'm at the part where it's her prom night and he promised to take her, but the clocks went forward and now it's on a, on at night. <laughs> what happens if he goes out at night? He gets really sleepy. <laughs> that still sounds like a more interesting story than Twilight. <laughs> what? It sounds awful, detective. <laughs> Can I have the internet password, please? And give you access to all my juicy manuscripts? No chance. Doris, I need that password for the investigation. And I need those books kept safe until my genius is recognized, so no. Ah, shit. If you need anything else, I'll be here unless I'm not. So, I don't know how I'm going to get that password, then. Unless it's... Oh, wait. Oh, I bet I know what it is. There's got to be something I can take, then. There's got to be something else somewhere that I can... I bet I bet I can do the password. Hang on. What if I... It's probably Guy Light. Alright. Um, can I... Unless I have to go up to the final floor of the... This. Hang on, what if I... You gotta try the combinations out. Oh. Well, can rocks uh, wire it? No? Okay. Okay, so how do I make it wired then? Do I... There's no one else here. Unless I can take it to her. Okay. Can I... Where do I take it? Photocopier? Photocopier. Button. No. A coat rack. Okay, there's something else somewhere then. I can't uh, sci fi. Oh, hey. You're new. Oh, wait. Oh, I never came here, did I? I didn't realize this was a way. <laughs> Oopsie. What about this one? The, wor the words are short, and I think I can read the whole book from one cover to the other. Oh, is that suitable for my age range? I read a book about books for my age range, and they're all books about boys and wizards and talking dogs. Oh. Oh. Hang on. Sorry, folks. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Alarm. <laughs> um, so, uh, real talk, I'm recording this at like 6... Technically, I was doing this at like 5 in the morning. <laughs> anyway... Oh, his name is Little Devin. That's actually kind of nifty. I had a friend named Devin who passed um, last year. Pretty, pretty bad, but that is that is uh, de definitely a nice little callback for me. <laughs> um, was it last year? It might have been 2020 itself. It's hard to remember. Time passes so fast. 
I missed the guy. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'll try it. I hope it looks like it. I hope I like it because I've read all the books about boys and wizards and talking dogs in here. Um, robot. Oh, okay. Oh, I should. I didn't read that. I hope I get to have a pet robot someday. Too many responsibilities: feeding it, rubbing its belly, teaching it to overthrow humanity. Why would you teach it that? I want to be on the good side when the inevitable happens. <laughs> I like Dooley. Why your parents don't love you? <laughs> wow. A B C as easy as four five six. <laughs> you look familiar. Have I arrested you before? <laughs> Bad baby incites a riot. <laughs> a viewmaster? I love this as a kid. Oh, I. I already know what I need to do with that. Dinosaur. Yo, can I take that? The dust is wrong under this. Makes me think it was moved recently. Well, that's not right. Neat trick. What magic book did you learn that from, kid? It's not magic. It's nothing. Who are you talking to, kid? I'm not telling you anything. I've heard what happens to people who do who do a snitch. Modern media is really making our job hard. Can I... Can you wire this? Can I give you the glue? Okay, so there's a cold draft coming from the vent. That can't be good for this kid's health. So can I just not do anything with the kid? Okay, I guess not. Um, we'll block away. But I did get something else that I can use here. So I take this, go here. Okay, hang on. I already figured out this right here. Well, it fits. Let's look at what I didn't accidentally chop out of Twin Lakes recent history. Spider Moth, do it again. Do it again, sounds like they were on some kind of winning streak instead of having burnt down yet another stadium. Major staff cuts at library. Oh. Budgetary cutbacks have seen the local library reduced to a skeleton staff. I know Doris is old, but that seems a bit unfair. It means very few people work here. Oh, yep, just Doris now, and she's actually a retired volunteer. Tough times. Wow. Computer stock goes up, down, wait, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B-A. Oh god, it's the Konami code. I shouldn't have read that aloud. I think I might have just summoned something. <laughs> Crackpot detective claims teenagers' tags were, rit were ritual meant to show the dead to that walk among us. I remember this case. What the hell? Oh, hello. Who are you and how did you get here? Alister Crawley. I am that which can never be unseen. The ooze from your nightmares. The knower of the unknown. Right, that's not very helpful, if I'm honest. Help is there for those that know how to take it. Okay, then I'll bite. Tell me, oh, knower of the unknown. What's going on here? I uh, don't really know. Oh, okay. Right. But I do know But I do know that coward Yeats is protecting a hidden room, one that holds vast power and treasure. No doubt that which is responsible for the spectral summoning of myself and the others lies within. The others? The others. Detective, who are you talking to? I'm talking to... You know what? I don't even know how to explain this. Looks like I need... Okay. Uh, what was all that again? Yeet, secret room, mad power within. We cool, bro? We're cool. Can you wire this? Do you want glue? Okay, well... Oh, oh! Goat, yeets. Pray, sir, a moment of your time. Another one? Another, ah, another spirit. Yes, then with your question, you have answered my own, huh? Forgive me, but I wish to know if you have seen on your travels that scoundrel Crowley. Forcefully mysterious man in a silly hat? The very same. I knew he lurked here, but somewhere. He mentioned the hidden room? Yes, but on the matter, I shall say no more. Not until the beast is gone. But I just wanted, not a word more, sir. Not a word more. Okay. Uh, it's part of the game I'm playing. The game also involves me pretending to talk to invisible people. No need for further questions. Everything has been answered satisfactorily. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're getting somewhere now. Oh, hey, Gail. Hello. Are you an author, too? I don't recognize you. Aye, but not like Yon Toffs with their literary fiction. I wrote useful stuff, like house wiring and how to do your own plumbing. You think you can fix the elevator? With right gear, I could, eh? I need a new button mind. Hey, take that. Can this button replace the broken one in the elevator? Let me see. Looks like it'll do job jizz a few minutes to pop it in place. Oh, cool. That's convenient. Um, before I go to him, uh, thanks for fixing the elevator, Gail. Happy to help. It were fun doing something useful again. Thanks, Gail. 
Um, before I go to him, though, I'm gonna go... Before I go to that room, I'm gonna check out... I think you should read this one. I read this one and thought it was good. What's it about? The story about this kid who can see dead people. Oh, that's not for me. I'm scared of ghosts. I fear I find myself in the company of a rather dreadful bunch. Rotters, a lot of them. The kid? No, he's charming. I mean the others. Occultists, horror writers, and DIY fanatics. Horrors, a lot of them. <laughs> oh, that's why I wanted to come here, because now I can see all the ghosts. Yeah, hello. Oh, see, they're playing chess. Oh, hey, big fan of your work. Thanks. Not you. Oh. Wait. Pratchett Adams. I read your detective books. Wonderfully over the top. Who are these guys? I feel they're actual writers. Someone look into that? <laughs> Hang on, then let me go here. Okay, I was expecting to see another ghost here. Okay, we're so we've seen them all. But we don't have her password. Unless I can get it from her now. Okay, no. Okay. So I need to go upstairs first. Oh, look, Doris must have finally fixed the elevator button. No, it was... Never mind. Book cart. A collection of books that don't seem to fit anywhere else in the library. Like, how to cook a dinosaur, if you ever catch one. The Internet and Other Fads. Architecture of the Mind, by Sarah Bellum. An MMO Accountancy. Be the fictional banker you always knew you were. Nice. Um, book cart. Window. Looks like you can get to the roof through the here. Thankfully, it's locked. I'd rather not go back out in that storm. So I'm going to have to go there. Oh, hey. Hey, it's Edgar Allan Poe. Okay, that's an actual person <laughs> that I know. <laughs> well, not by personally, obviously. For any of you who don't know, he wrote the, uh, uh what was it? <sighs> it wasn't How to Kill a Mockingbird, was it? No. Maybe. I can't, he wrote a few books. Like, actual known books that people have read and or done things for. I think a few of his movies, or a few of his books became movies. You barely make teenage girls whimper, Howie. HP Lovecraft. Okay, that's actually funny because I played a game called uh, Lovecraft and it was a visual novel. And it's supposed to be like... It explains why his books were all crazy. Like, they were, he went to this world full of these magical people, came back and wrote what he wrote, saw about it. And it became... And people... He was writing facts, but people thought it was like horror fiction novels. So, he ended up you know, being considered a horror writer. Only because they cannot fathom the dread I conjure, Eddie. You play on common cliches. Your penny dreadfuls lack true horror. Penny dreadful. The, at best, spooky pulp. Your best works aren't even written by you, charlatan, fraud, undead trickster. If you feel that way, then why did you hide my work, Eddie? Again, I say, I do not have your book. You probably hid it because it was too scary for you. Gah! You're an infuriating man. Okay. Uh, what's going on here? I didn't take his blasted book. It was that childish Blighton woman. Why don't you tell him that? He will not listen to me. He's convinced I hid it so more people would borrow my books over his. Nonsense! I care not for his current zeitgeist. My works are vastly superior. He's being such... odd. Oh, I've missed. Uh, I am clearly the greater horror writer. I tore apart the minds of a generation with my... Atheistic... Atheistic horror, I guess? With your atheistic rubbish. <laughs> Right, I'll have you, mate. Come at me, you sickly twerp. You two stop it, or I'll put you both in some kind of supernatural slammer. He started it. Oh, never. Oh, I never. It was you and your... I don't care who started it. I'm putting a stop to it. Wait, right. I just went full dad mode on ghosts, and not a peep. <laughs> Stabfest 6. <laughs> Lemons for every meal. <laughs> From Axis to Zero Oxygen, a murderous primer. Wow. Okay. So, creepy bookshelf. This is one creepy looking bookshelf. Okay, so I need to go back down to the, the, here. Here. Hello. Excuse me, did you steal Lovecraft's book? He and that Poe fellow won't stop fighting over which one has the more frightful book. I took his book in the hopes it would stop their arguing. It seems to have just made it worse. Well, I shan't give it back until they stop their silly bickering. I just shan't. How am I to stop those two fighting? That is not my concern. You want this book? You stop their fight. There's got to be a scarier book than theirs around here. Surely that... Oh, I know which one. I think I understand it. Hang on. Check this out. I like to borrow that book you're reading. You need a library card to borrow books. Can I sign up for one? Um, no, I'm too busy reading my books. So help, Saws. 
Dooley, can I use your card? It still has fines on it. I bet you wish you'd let me make a deal now, huh? Why is the window onto the roof locked? For health and safety. Can I get the key? Afraid not. Why? For health and safety, huh? She is very not helpful. If you need anything else, I'm here unless I'm not. Okay, so I need to find a book that's scarier than theirs. Alright. If I can get her damn... Uh, if I can get her book, that'd be great. Uh, sci-fi fantasy. Uh, yeah. Wait, no, where, what was the other bookshelf? Uh, no, I want to look at the bookshelf, damn it. Dooley fantasy. Dragon Age. Oh, okay, it changes every time. I'm assuming there's a certain one I need to look at. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so maybe... Again, I say that you and I, sir, shall not converse while Crawley lurks awaiting a slip of my tongue. Okay, Rax says no further help. I met your friend Yeats. He says you won't stop spying on him. I find it most joyous to torment the man. He says you want into the room that you mentioned. I do. I'm most bored here. I need something to do. Something to read. Why not use that computer to go online? Two words. Safe search. Oh, right. Maybe I can find some kind of workaround? Please. Just stay here and don't do anything. So I need her password, but she won't hand it to me. All right. Okay, so I need to... So I need her to give me the password, then. Okay, nothing new here. Oh, I think I got a picture of himself. So what if I ruin the calendar? Sticky photo, what am I sticking it to? Okay. Okay, so there's something somewhere. There's something somewhere I need to put that picture on. Can I post it on the statue? Can I put it on the book? Uh, nope. Something somewhere. No, nope, not here. Oh, wait, what am I... Oh, whoops, I just realized I'm clicking on my OBS. <laughs> Sci-fi, maybe something in here. Library card. How convenient. I'd expect it to go through a series of semi-logical puzzles. Oh, well, that helps. Well, then I can go get the book. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, whoops. Oh! Uh, well then, here you go. Paul. His name is... My name is Paul, like it says on the card. Okay, now I, now I have an idea. We go... We go here. Also, this episode will be mildly longer than the previous one. It reeks of hoardness. Okay, so it's clearly the scarier book. Uh, so let's go here. Let's go here. The most horrific novel ever written. And it's not written by either of you. Let me see that. <laughs> Teenage girl, blah, blah, her first vampire blah, love story. It sounds terrifying. Its mere existence gives me the shivers. Do you agree it's more horrific than your works? Will you stop squabbling? Agreed? Agreed. Can you believe something so hideous exists? Can you believe it's so popular? Stoker must be turning in his grave. <laughs> I hope the poor chap doesn't know. Okay, so they're done. Oh, okay, so now I need to just go fix some of the other ghosts. Uh, children. So is my goal just to... I've gotten an agree on the scariest book. Can I have that novel now? Good. I don't see why you'd want this vile thing, but I promise. Lovecraft. Okay. 
You can't you ruin the kid's illusion, detective. So Okay. I see them. They're my friends. Well, this one is. Some of them are less friendly. But I like them because they came before they came, the place was empty. Just me and Doris, and she's only interested in reading the most... Most as dreadful as books ever written. Okay, so now... Okay, so this is going to take longer than the previous one. Uh, so I'm guessing I can give her the book. Can I give you the book? No? You don't want the book? The indescribable rending things that rend indescribably. Sounds about right. Okay, so what if I go to... Hang on, let me check out these guys. Do these guys care about this? Okay, what do I do with the book then? Wait, do I... Do I miss the chessboard? No? Okay, no, those guys are just playing chess. Okay. Um, uh, horror. Okay. I need to deal with Yeats and Crawley. Okay. But how do I do that? Uh, reading room. I met your friend, yeah, okay. That, that. This? Okay, um. So what do I do? I'm, I'm gonna keep going until I get this case solved. We're not splitting one case into multiple episodes. That's just not how this is happening. Okay, so what do I, what do I do with the book? Oh no, I put it back there. But then how do I deal with the, how do I deal with your nonsense? Okay. No, one is enough. I don't need to experience that smell again. Okay. Is there a way? There's got to be a way to like. Can I put this book in there? No. What do I do with this? There's gotta be something else somewhere in the place or someone else I gotta talk to. Hmm. There's something I'm missing somewhere. Does Raxus have anything? Oh wait, you're entering stuff on the internet. How did you get past the internet blocks? Up to something, naughty detective? Me? No, but I have this friend who needs to get past the library firewall. That's quite a well protected. Surprisingly, I think Doris was worried somebody would hack in, in to steal her unpublished fan fiction. <laughs> but I figured out the admin password so I can bypass the lock. Want me to give it to you so you can use it? Yes, please. Okay, there we go. Oh, one, two, three, four. Now Crawley should be able to browse his heart's content. I'll let him know. Okay, I've set it up so you should be able to browse whatever you want. No restrictions. Excellent. You um, you may not want to stick around for this. Oh no, he's going to leave his ectoplasm everywhere, huh? <laughs> right, I'll leave it to your business. So shut the door on the way out. Eh, no kidding. Okay, Mr. Yeats, did I sense? Yes, the beast's eyes are focused elsewhere. The air is clearer now. Well, clearer is maybe not the term I'd used. Come again, sir? Never mind. Just don't go into that room if you can avoid it. Uh, as you suggest. Now, what's all this about a hidden room? I'll share what I can. There's a place hidden behind the horror sec- Okay, I've already figured that out. Phantasmic pollution afflicting this building is within. How do I get in? One of the books in the L section is a lever. Pull it and fix this. Godspeed, man. Hear what? Oh, yeah, you can't hear it. <laughs> we need to get to the fourth floor and open the secret room using one of the books in the L section. Uh, Intuition? Yeah, okay, I've already, yeah, I've, I've now got this done, okay. There we go. Put this here. Here goes nothing. That seemed to fit with the curious clicking noise. All right, we pull this and, oh, looky there, we've uncovered it. Well, there's the hidden door Yeats and Crowley were talking about. Creepy doorways are a recurring motif I'm not too fond of. Let me guess, staying here to cover me again? You got it. 
in one, you got it in one, detective. Try to avoid getting knocked out this time. We're going in. Oh, hello. What the, what is all this? Magica? Alistair Crowley's Guide to the Popular Wizard Game? <coughs> the Gnostic's Guide to Ghouls and Ghosts? Rituals for Modern Rituals? <laughs> These are all contraband occult books. This is quite the nasty treasure trove. Why didn't I know about this stuff? Exposed wiring. Those loose wires seem to run to the roof. A copy of Ripley's Cast It or Not. It seems to be open on the Summon Spirits page. Maybe if I close it, this whole mess of sorts of... Ouch. It seems to be charged by this faulty wiring. I wonder where it goes. Okay, I know where it goes now. Alright, skull. Baseball hat. Can I take it? So, what are you doing here? Shelly. Mary Shelly. Like the moth to a flame, I'm drawn to the eldritch energies emitted from this book. I like spooky books and electricity. I, I even like candles to up the spook factor. Crawl space. A small hole. I don't fit, but maybe I can drop something down to see where it lands. Not if I where it landed. I think I know where it's going. Okay, I... Pretty sure I know where that's going. Horror section, more books. Okay. Yeah, for some reason there's a baseball hat here. Okay, I know where that went. I know where the vent is. The vent's in the room with the kid. There it is. What's all this noise? I can't hear myself read. So, kid, what do you know about the other side of the vent? Uh, I didn't mean to do it. Do what? I was lonely, so I went exploring. I found all these neat new books. But the one I read was scary and I ran off. Then the ghosts arrived, but I like them because now I have friends. See, he meant no harm. Troublemaker! Arrest him! Breaking and entering into your room of illegal books. <laughs> Let's say both set of charges cancel each other out. Only if you get rid of the ghosts and find him somewhere else to go once in a while. He can join me in the Blood Wolves. <laughs> blood Wolves? The mayor stopped paying the d -d 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 tax, so we had to change the s change from scouts. You okay with that, kid? Sure. That's great, but back to the task at hand. We need to stop energy flowing into the building and, and into that book. You need to get to the lightning connector on the roof. Here, have the key. Dooley, we're going to the roof, but it's raining outside. <laughs> you blighter, that could have killed me, except that you're already dead. Police brutality, that's what this is. <laughs> nice. Alright, so let's go back to the roof. Wow, this one took a lot more. I was not expecting it to be this long. Here we go. I suppose I've already ducked out of one room this case. I knew I played that card too soon. You did, buddy. You did. More of that wiring from the secret room. Okay. Up we go. Do you need me to go all the way up there? Scared of heights? No. Yes. <laughs> Junction box. So what do I need to do? Get down as soon as possible. Looks like the circuit is connecting the books downstairs. This, pardon me. Aerial. I guess I should break that circuit, then wire the aerial to the lighting rod so the power has to go somewhere else. So how do I... oh. How do I break this? Whoops. Oh! Oh, it's one of these. Gotcha. There we go. Uh, I hate these. <laughs> okay, hang on. Uh, yes. No. Maybe. Possibly. Okay, wait, yeah. Okay, that's getting us somewhere. So now I need to... No. Nope, that's not right either. I need that one right there. Um... Wait, yeah, hold up. Can I do this? Brute force, please? Nope. Okay, hang on. Um, let me... I 
I mean, that almost works. <laughs> that one also almost works. Okay, now I need the tall boy there. So can I... Yeah, I can. There we go. Oh, I hate those. <laughs> Ouch, my hand. Look, Detective, the storm is dying out. Imagine that. Okay, we should be able to close the book now. Let's get back to the book. Close the doorway. Close book. There they go. That one was a lot. That was like double the length of the other one. Holy crap. <laughs> Trunks filled, Detective. Though I don't see why we had to take all those books. Duly, they're contraband. Heavy contraband. We have an agreement then, Doris. You don't find me for having the books. I don't sue this kid for entering the vault. I go back to business sans haunting. You should also get that wiring fixed. Ugh, okay, fine. <laughs> Come on, Dooley. Let's get back to the office. See you at camp, Mr. Dooley. See you there, Devin. Case closed. All right. And we got the achievement Ghost Whisperer. So next is Disorient Express. But we will do that one next time. I hope you all enjoyed the show. Sorry it was longer than the other one. It was surprisingly longer than I thought it would be. But hey, that that is what it is, I guess. Um, if you like it, hit the like button. If you have any suggestions or uh, just want to say hello, leave it in the comments. And um, if you haven't subscribed already, it'd be super cool if you did. And until next time, have a good one.